as mums in those early few months, you don't have time to think. It's yeah. really hard to make sure you're giving yourself all the goodness. And you're usually in a calorie deficit. <laughs> oh, yum. That's so exciting. Parents shouldn't be scared of weaning their children. It's such mm. an exciting journey. <laughs> Hi, I'm very, very, very excited today to have with me here Marianne and Ellis from the Mother Tongue. And uh, so, first of all, welcome. Thank you. It's actually really strange that we're on the other side. I know. I don't think we've ever been here. Yeah, I have a lot of pressure actually now. <laughs> now that I think about it, because you guys are so it. natural. Um, so anyway, today's topic really is about motherhood and eating and all things to do with food and how to keep yourself healthy for your little ones, pre and postnatal. Mm. And I know you, we started in the kitchen, so we we, did. You, you came early and we cooked some spaghetti bolognese, or you did all the work, you cooked <laughs> the spaghetti bolognese. How was that? Oh, well, amazing. Team, teamwork makes the dream work. I know. Hey? Lovely. And then we're going to go straight back in. A little bit of onion uh, skin in there, but what's a good, good onion cooking though. Dun, 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 dun. Yum! Well, look at us. First time we've cooked together, Marianne. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was just, it was just fabulous it because was. it was fun. It was super convenient. Yeah. And Easy. it was bloody delicious. <laughs> yeah, you guys were total pros, like total yeah. pros. So we started an interesting conversation, I thought we want to pick up now, about how the relationship with food changes pre and post pregnancy, particularly for the mum. Yeah. When I came out of the pregnancy, I feel like that's where I, this is where Hello Chef paid such a massive part in our lives because it was so hard to find the time to one, go to the supermarket, buy all the food, and two, make sure I was getting the right balance of food on a daily basis because obviously if you're breastfeeding you need to make sure the calories are kept yes. up but it needs to be the correct type of calories you can't just be eating a burger and a pizza smashing them back every day like it's not gonna help <laughs> um so yeah so we relied so heavily on hello chef because it was quick it was easy it was something that we've got a lovely lady who helps us at home called giselle so she'd do most of the prep work so Perfect. literally it was either ready when i came down from bath breastfeeding bed or I literally had to whack it in the oven, we could eat and then go to bed ourselves and not have to worry. Because obviously it's very important to keep yourself well nourished during pregnancy, but I think also that postpartum period, that first four months, that first, the fourth trimester, as we like to call it, it's hard. It's yeah. really hard to make sure you're giving yourself all the goodness. And if you're breastfeeding, all that goodness goes straight through oh to your gosh, baby. Oh my gosh, of so. course. And you're usually in a calorie deficit mm. if you're breastfeeding. Mm. Regardless of whether you're breastfeeding or not, your body has basically emptied itself out to a child and they have taken everything from you. So I think it's really important, like you just said, if you're in a calorie deficit to always feeding yourself with so much goodness so you can obviously make your milk and give it to yeah. a child. But even if you're not, even if you're bottle feeding, it's so important yeah. to, to you know, replenish everything that you've lost. And I think that was a really good point that you just made because in those early days of being a parent, you need to try and get the sleep when your baby goes to sleep. Yeah. So the fact that it's so convenient, you don't need to think. We as moms, especially first time moms, in those early few months, you don't have time to think. No. I, for one, was regurgitating the same recipes. I was sick, sick to <laughs> my stomach of specific dishes. Cottage pie was one of them, which is one of my favorites yeah. because I just kept cooking it and cooking it and I could store it in the freezer. Yeah. So you're so right. You don't need to think, everything is balanced. And then of course, when you go on to our baby stages now, yeah, when they you start, start eating everything. And I think Marianne and I have both got very similar mothering tactics. And we want our children to be brought up on family food, you know, balanced meals, yeah. something that is convenient for all of us. So yeah. I mean, it's been a godsend, basically. It really, really has. It really has. I mean, Rafa now eats everything that we eat, bar maybe like a salad. That's really nice. Yeah. Well done. It's great. It yeah. makes life so much easier, yes. honestly. Look at all of these cute little bits and bobs we have. See, this is my fancy trial. Well done. Nailing Woo! it. There we go. There we go. That's okay. Fine. That'll do. I think matter of one moment left and then we're good oh yum when you plan in general for your meals for your family how do you look after yourself your husband 
your children? Like, how do you balance all of that out? Well, so I know a lot of parents who think of the kids before they think of themselves when they're picking the Hello Chef meals, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but then I find that it's then a lot of pastas, a lot of the more pie, like lasagnas kind of stuff, when really, I mean, Rafa would eat a Thai green chicken curry if yeah. we were having a Thai green yeah. chicken curry. And any of the noodle dishes. Do you think as parents we're sometimes dumbing down our kids? Definitely, for sure. Know, like palate or? For sure, and I mean, look, and we're in the early days, so I'm no expert and I'm sure we'll go through a phase where Rafa will just demand chicken nuggets. <laughs> um, but yeah, at the moment, I try and not just go for the things that I think are safe and the things that I think children should be eating because there is no hard and fast rule. We started weaning Frida a little bit earlier, at four months, because she had such terrible reflux and she was always vomiting all the time. So we did a little bit earlier, and our paediatrician actually said, once we'd got to the six months, you know, go crazy. Mm. This is the time to embed good eating habits now in your children. Very nice. And then yeah. even more recently, at our 12, one, at 12 month um, catch up, she was like, Ellis, go for it. Spices, oils, everything. So we're very like that. I don't want Frida to grow up and be like, oh, I can't have that, I need bland food or whatever. So we go to town. She has um, Thai green curry, she has dolls, she has everything. Yeah. And you know, it makes for an easier life. Mm. It is key. I think it is really important. And it's so exciting. Yes. I feel like parents shouldn't be scared of weaning their children. It's such mm. an exciting journey. And if you're uptight and tense about feeding them food, they're going to feel that energy and sure. automatically be like, oh, should I be eating this? Enjoy it with them. Eat with 1, them. 1,000%. It's, it I think fun. each mother is very different. Mm. I think you and I have been quite similar in our ways and yeah. we're quite confident, whereas I have friends who are a lot more cautious and that's so fine. Yeah. The balance, of course, with regards to the recipe itself, that obviously needs to be thought about, but there's so many recipes that kind of, you can be playful with, or they can be spoon fed, or, yeah. <laughs> Any last tips on um, feeling healthy, feeding yourself well, you know, making it work for the whole family? I would personally say, have confidence in yourself and have confidence in your child. I always say this to any mom friends, because you're right, you mentioned it earlier, the children pick up on your energy. And I think try to make things convenient and simple, but think about them strategically and be adventurous. Yeah. You know, they know no different. Embed this in them now. So like I said, with the picking up of pasta and things like that, it's really enjoyable to watch your children. So that would be my biggest tip. Have confidence in yourself and your children. And on the back of that, I would say enjoy it. Yes. Just enjoy every moment because I feel that, you know, not that this is necessarily related to food, but the first three months of Rafa's life, he also suffered really badly from reflux. I, yeah, put so much pressure on fixing the problem that I kind of bypassed that whole first three months of when he was really small and really cute. So now, live in the moment, enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it's been so fun. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it smells so good. Can I? Delish. <laughs>